He put Washington on high alert when he landed a gyrocopter on the Capitol lawn last month. Tonight, a grand jury indicted Doug Hughes on six charges, including two felonies. If convicted, he could spend nine years in prison. Tomorrow, Hughes will face a judge on charges related to what he called a political statement. First, though, Hughes sat down with ABC7 senior political reporter Scott Thuman to explain why he thinks his act could change the way elections are run. Do you regret any of it? No. As far as regrets are concerned, there's none. The stunt by 61-year-old Florida mailman Doug Hughes is one he describes from this Capitol Hill home blocks away from the building he's now barred from approaching. He's under house arrest after scaring scores of tourists and nearly being shot out of the sky. But still intentionally, which you knew, breaking a law. So was it irresponsible? I think what Congress is doing ir is irresponsible. Okay, let's get some people to ask that question. Hughes says the alarm shouldn't have been over his eye-popping flight. It should be over Citizens United. The Supreme Court ruling allowing corporations and groups to essentially bankroll political campaigns. It's bribery. It's legal, okay? It's legal because they made it legal. Some of the intended recipients of his protest letters say in part they agree. Mr. Hughes does have a point. I've seen it get worse and worse in my 20 years in Congress. Either way, he definitely raised concerns over safety. Gyro copper man showed a uh, hole in our security that we need to be concerned about. Hughes tells me he's not done. His sole mission now to change election laws, though admittedly much tougher if behind bars. The judge is going to have to hand the final decision off to 12 of my peers. I can live with that. If you are curious, Hughes still has his job with the U.S. Postal Service, although he has been suspended with pay pending the investigation. Tomorrow afternoon, he'll head just down the street a few blocks from the Capitol where he'll face a judge and determine if this can be resolved through some sort of plea deal or if it'll head to trial. Live on Capitol Hill tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News.